I'm so sick about the idea that we're in fall. Like, when did that happen? I don't know who it is, if it's the makeup or if it's me. Like, it just looks stupendous. Hi! This is so deep. Oh, I can see it now. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, we can see it. We see each other, we really do. Let's do a full face of makeup as much as we can using LYS Beauty. I was sent a whole bunch of goodies from them. I've tried them in the past, but let's get a revamp. Let's get a reminder of their products. I met the team at Sephora in New Orleans. I felt even more in love with the brand. Black on at Sephora, you know how that goes. I don't have the foundation from them. I know I used it a while ago, and when I used it, it was very hydrating and dewy, which is not what I like when it comes to foundation. So if you like that, then of course, pick that up or just look at it as one of the options at Sephora. I'm gonna use the foundation that I have right in front of me. It's the one size turn up the base BBB cream. The shade is deep 3N. And this is good, like deep. Deep. Oh, and if you're wondering, I did a separate video on how I did my hair. I am seeing some like ash from the edge control. I'm trying to figure this whole thing out. I'm a little bit annoyed. So do your best to ignore that as much as you can. I want to figure it out. I love how it came out. I'm just a little bit troubled mm -hmm. by the slight ash. And then it's not laid down as much as I would like for it to be. <laughs> but you know. It's still cute, it's still cute. We do we do what we can, okay? Praise the Lord. So let's go ahead with this. I remember this, I've used this what, once or twice? It's, why is it almost done? <laughs> it's halfway done. I guess I used it more than once or twice, or maybe it's just when I used it, I used a lot. Hey, okay, let's put some on the face like this because of the way that it looks. And I remember this being really full on coverage and I remember loving it, hence why I went and bought it again. I haven't even finished this one and I went and bought it again. What brush am I using? It's Black Kabuki. All links are gonna be below in the description box if you wanna take a look at any of them. But yeah, this is so creamy and just fantastic. Can you imagine that we are already in fall? I'm so sick about the idea that we're in fall. Like, when did that happen? Did anyone get the memo about it being fall or close to fall? Like, why are we already looking at fall candles? Why are we already looking at pumpkin spice and all that stuff? What, what does all this mean? I still have summer clothes to wear. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ready for this at all. I'm like, what, how, and why? But yeah, this BB cream is so good. BB cream, yes, but it's giving full coverage foundation for me. Like, excuse me? I love this. Ooh, and you know Fenty Beauty has some new products out. I cannot wait to try those. I made the order. I don't be liking to go into the stores too much, you feel me? I'm an online kind of girl. <laughs> Where do you normally shop? Do you normally shop online or do you look online and then go in the store? Comment and let me know, okay? Oh, I need to shave. Do you see this Vela's hair? Oh no, baby. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I like for it to be off. I need to shave my face again. I am decluttering. I've been decluttering for a long time now. <laughs> I am decluttering, right? And I'm getting rid of all the stuff that's old, just outdated. And I'm left over with a select few foundations, creams, tints, the whole nine yards. And I'm gonna do a video on what I have left over which will be my current foundations video and how I feel about each of the products. So if you wanna see that, please comment and let me know because I had to get rid of so many. I had to make a note like, I need to re-up on a bunch of these because they're just that good, but they're just old. You feel me? We'll be using old stuff. This looks really good. What do you think about the coverage? Amazing. We got some concealers from LYS. This is DG6 and this is how it looks on the skin, nice and light. Oh yeah, this is golden. It's looking very gold, but too light for me, it looks like. We're gonna see. And then this is the PG one. So dark pink golden one. I like that one. Based on my foundation shade, I like this one because this is gonna be too light, but we can accent if necessary. So let's start off with DPG one. And if I need to go lighter, I'll use the other one. It's looking like it's neutral or something on me. It's not as bright, you know? More yellow, not as golden. Perhaps it's the pink that's canceling it or neutralizing it out a little bit. But this is a light color, as you can see. And here's my beauty sponge, which is damp. And then you squeeze it out to make sure that it's not soaked. Now let's blend this. It looks pretty. Okay, I like this a lot. I like the applicator. This shade is good. I don't right now feel like I need to add on the other one to highlight, but let's see. Let's blend it all out and get the gist of it and we'll know from there. Oh, I think this looks really pretty. It's borderline natural in a way where I do feel like I wanna <laughs> highlight it a little more like I 
my, but you know what? No, let me wait because I'm gonna use their setting powder and I feel like that's going to pop my eyes. So perhaps I should wait. Now I forgot which one I just used. Is it DPG1? <laughs> DPG1, right? Yeah, that's the one I've used, DPG1, hi. Now I do wish that a lot more came out on the applicator, but this happens with a lot of other products too. So it's not something just with their product. The applicator looks like it should be for a lip product. You feel me? Interesting. Blend the chin area to highlight. We always love to go underneath the cheek here. Yeah, this color is pretty subtle because usually when I go under the cheek, this would be very, very pronounced and it's not right now. And that's a good thing. That's okay. It doesn't always need to be so wild. Do you feel me? <laughs> Love, love, love. Are you still doing your highlight and contour? Let me know. I recognize that even in this day and age, not everyone is highlighting and contouring. And if you need an updated video on the highlight and contour process, then please comment and let me know. This highlight looks natural in a very good way. I actually really enjoy this. Wow. I don't know who it is, if it's the makeup or if it's me. Like it just looks stupendous. <laughs> what do you think so far? <laughs> DPG one, I love it. Let's put her in my kit so I can reuse you from for the days to come. You feel what I'm saying? And then DPG being wicked light, I, I'm so tempted. Should I really? Should I highlight some more with DPG? All right, we go to say DPG just right here, you know, just like right here. So it can be really, really snatched. I really feel like that's gonna do something for the girls. Just right here, you know, just a little something, you know? <laughs> No need to drag this. Let's get it down the size of the nose too. It makes a subtle difference. You can tell the difference. Comment and let me know, cause I know you can tell. And now we're gonna contour. You know I love and I live for this LYS cream bronzer in the shade Worthy. And this is a brand spanking new one. Oh girl, it don't get no better. It don't get no better. And I just press it and then go back and blend. Drawing it on would be such a huge mistake with this shade. If you were to use a different shade, perhaps you'd have a little more leeway, but this particular shade, no ma'am, it's gonna give you extreme contour in the absolute best way. So if you draw it on, girl, that's on you. This is an LYS foundation brush, but because of the size of it, like the diameter, diameter of it all. I'll love this for the contour. It's just not gonna work for me for the face. And you know, I like to make brushes work for me because you can do that. I can take some more over there. The stick bronzer that I have that is used in it, like this lived in, you know what I'm saying? A lot more comes out. This one was is brand new, so I didn't get as much out as I usually do. Let's add some more because I need this contour to really be showing. You know, look at me, when I look up, I'm like, where do I look? I'm like, where am I? <laughs> I need this to really, really show, you feel me? And let's bring it up because we do want it to blend, nothing too harsh. And we are getting into the hairline. That is very, very important. And I gotta be honest with you, there are times where I will wash my face and I do my double cleanse, I do the whole situation. And then when it comes to me wiping my face or just patting it dry, at the hairline, there's product, you feel me? So even I know I gotta do a better job of cleaning my hairline, but that should not stop us from getting our product into the hairline because that's how it look most natural, you feel me? So let's make sure that we are blending it up into there. Let me know about my hair. I do have white hairs, okay? So it's a mixture of the product turning a little white and then my white hairs. So really and truly, you don't even know what's what. <laughs> you feel me? Like you don't even gonna know what part is what, you feel me? So, and as of now, I'm accepting my white hairs because it's a sign of maturity and it's beautiful and it doesn't have to be taboo, you know? This looks so good. Wow, it's giving very deep contour in the way that I love it. I already told you I love good contour. And with this ponytail, it's really saying, yes, snatch up the whole entire face. Now, with the leftover from this brush, we're gonna take some of the product and go down the side of the nose. This color is so deep for my skin that I don't need to take any more. Although this is a clean brush, so it doesn't have leftover product like it would if this was a used brush. And I'm saying this with a laugh because, you know, your brushes really shouldn't be dirty when you use that, but <laughs> my DB, my DB, you feel what I'm saying, so. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. So I just took some of the product on this brush. I'm going to diffuse it on back of my hand a little bit before applying, cause I don't want this to be too harsh. It was so funny. I was thinking back to the height of the pandemic. I was doing virtual makeup classes and I thought to myself, cause you know, I'll get messages inquiring about stuff like that. And I remember just feeling like I needed to touch people's faces to really help them right now. I'm not saying that I'm gonna do anything in person. What I'm saying is I wonder how I can bring those tips to a makeup video. So with that, I'm thinking, should I do an hour or hour and a half, well, however long it takes me, long video where I 
literally don't edit out stuff so you can see everything and then I can discuss everything. I mean, would that be helpful? Cause I feel like I already do that. But then part of me is like, is there more that I could say in a longer video? I don't know. Would that be helpful to you? Cause literally I would do the video as if I was teaching you. So what I'm trying to say is that essentially it would be the kind of video that you can put on when you're sitting in front of your mirror and you can literally be doing your makeup along with me because I'll do the video so friggin' detailed and step-by-step. -step. Let me know if that's something that you wanna do. Like I wanna know, for instance, do you turn on a YouTube video and then do your makeup? Like, do you follow like that? Cause if so, then the edited videos that we do have got to make that difficult because we're moving along. It's, it's giving more like you watching it and then later on going to implement it as opposed to, no, I'm sitting down and I'm literally following what she's saying step-by-step, step. you feel what I'm saying? So would that kind of a video, lightly edited, very long and detailed, would you enjoy that? Comment and let me know. I've got three of their setting powders. And FYI, LYS means love yourself, okay? And all of their products have got encouraging words on them. This is Resilience, it's their translucent setting powder. This is Brilliance. Their translucent setting powder is the banana shade. Lightly banana, okay. This is the Ambition and it's a medium tan shade. Let's go with the banana one because I have not used this before, but I do look forward to using the other two in a different video. Let's do banana because I do, I still want to like pop up the under eye, you feel me? So let's see. Oh. I want to use their brush. This is their concealer brush, but I like the, the shape of it, like a diamond. I'm going to use this for the setting powder, okay? Let's get this, make sure that it's not creased. Press that in, you feel me? And then keep the eyes like this because you don't want to re-crease it, you feel me? You just took it off. And here we are with some of the product. And start off right here where the creasing is because I want to rest my face for God's sake. I'm going to get a headache, you know? Let's just do this right here. And I always be forgetting that these things come with mirrors. So let's use this. Hello. Oh, this looks great. It looks like nothing. Okay, so it is really translucent with a hint of yellow. Is that what it is? Ooh, this looks really good. Hang on, look at this. And I like the angle of this brush. It is very subtle, finely milled. It's really getting the job done. It's not flaking off. It's not a mess. This looks really good. This would be a great product for beginners because it's forgiving. A lot of the loose setting powders can be messy and you gotta have control over when you're using it. This brush with this product, I think is great. And of course you don't need to apply this 75 times like I am, but because this brush is the size that it is, I have to apply it so many more times. I love how it gets right here on the side of the nose too. Oh yes, hi. Above the lip. This is subtle. I really enjoy this. You see it, but it's not harsh. Hmm. Okay. Now we're going to lightly go over here because I don't want to be pressing. I'm just going to lightly go there to highlight that. We're just trying to intensify the highlight. And let's go down a little bit so there's no stark line. You feel me? Oh, I like it. And I'm wiping off on the towel and paper towel in front of me. You know, I always take tissue and all that stuff and I put it down because this, come on, it's a must, right? I like this a lot. I'm going to put this here because I'm going to make sure that I keep on using it. Mm-hmm. Now we're gonna set our contour. I'm gonna use the LYS powder brush to set the contour because it's still fluffy and it's bigger. We're gonna go ahead and use my Tried and True, which is the Worthy Bronzer. It matches the actual stick contour that I used already. This is so deep, girl. This is so deep. Now I could have skipped it, but why would I? I love this so much. I'm not gonna skip it. What? Mm. And a little goes a long way. Get into the hairline, honey. Wiping off any excess and just going over it now. We're just trying to blend. That is all we're trying to do at this point. Now you can see my highlight and my contour clearly. No need for confusion. It is there and we understand that it has been applied, okay? Let's do face powder first. I use the deep powder. This is the dark one, FYI. So if you are lighter than me, then I think you'll enjoy this one right here. And it's called Strength, okay? This is gonna be gorgeous. Just I'll put it here to, for a giveaway. I would put that on my face, but I feel like it'll make me too look too dark. And that's not what I'm trying to do because the foundation I have in right now works so well. No need to deepen it up. You know what I'm saying? I just need to finish it all, bring it all together, but not make my face deeper. You know, I'm gonna use Kosa's Cloud Set in the Shade Velvety, okay? This is a complex culture brush. <laughs> and we gonna put this all over the way. This is gonna bring it all together. Pick away any harsh lines. I will not and have never done my makeup within the past eight or so years without a face powder. And I did a video on the face powders, why I use them and the different ones that I have. That's, but it's been a while though. I wonder if I should update that video, but it, the, you know, it explains why I use it. Like, can you see? Everything just looks more cohesive right now. My face looks like I don't have any makeup on. It looks natural. Wow. <laughs> to me at least. 
You might be looking at this like, excuse me, I can see your contour. I don't know, it looks natural to me, okay? So with my finger, right, I could use the sponge, but let's do the finger right now. This is the Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade Flaunt. Using my finger to take some of this right down the middle of my nose, very gently. Let's see, maybe I should've used my sponge because it's wet and it can melt into the skin. Let's take a clean finger and see if that does anything differently for me. <laughs> mm, right there in the middle of the, of the chin, honey. Wiping off <laughs> any extra, because I don't need that much. What is the problem? <laughs> okay, taking some of the product, and now we are here in this area. Let me spray this NYX Dewy Finish Spray on the sponge because it's more dry than I would like for it to be. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this back of the hand just in case, and then onto the face because I want it to melt. What do you think? What are we looking like? All right, same on this side. Took some of the product back of the hand to get off the first harshest amount and then now onto the face. If you were to go into your product onto your face, if that product is very pigmented, your face is gonna look psychotic. So go on the back of the hand, use back of the hand as a palette essentially, and then you go onto the face. You feel me? Do you see the highlight? What do we think about it? Mm -hmm. I think it looks fantastic. It is a more champagne highlight, not as gold, but it still looks great. It's definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so we have that on and then I remember enjoying these LYS Satin Matte Cream Blushes. So the correct name is Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. This is shade Epic. Ooh, this looks delicious. And then this is the shade Inspire. Ooh, and then we have Passion. Oh my gosh, I don't remember the last time I used a blush that was more on the purple side. I don't wanna do too much today. I'm not doing too much today. Let me go with Epic because I just, I'm in love with looking at it already, like how? But of the sponge, which is more round and big, Big, but pouncing it in and then we're going to do a smize starting at the apples of the cheek and applying. Now this is more forgiving than the Denissa Myricks blushes because if I did this in her blush and then went to pounce it, I would have a huge circle of color. So I'm reminded that this is way more forgiving. You can pounce your sponge into here several times to build up the color before you get to a point where you're like, oh my God, I did too much. You feel me? Like, can you see that? Yes, I can see, but I can go for some more too. Like I'm really digging in here right now. So this is definitely a forgiving product if you're new to cream. Now I'm now I'm picking it up, I'm picking it up. <laughs> oh, I can see it now. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, we can see it. We see each other, we really do. Let me slow down a second. Let me let me wipe off my brush. Press my sponge in a little bit and go over. Cause wow, now I see it. I wasn't seeing it at first, but it's there. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> it's giving more red than orange, right? Whereas the Dennis and Myricks one is really orange. Both great, both great, right? They both have their place. I Like I can see myself wearing this blush with a red lip. Whereas with the Dennis and Myricks one, I cannot see myself wearing that one with a red lip because it's so orange, okay? So this is really pretty though. Very, very pretty. Now what I like to do to really make sure that my blush is blended into my face in a good way is I will take, where is it? The brush that I used for the contour with leftover product on it. And I'll go right here in the back part of my face. And if I don't see enough, I'll take more of the actual product because I don't want it to be so much blush toward my hairline. I want there to be the contour. Like it needs to mix, you feel me? So starting here and then bringing it in, there's that. And now let's do the eyebrows. First, I'm gonna brush up these brows. And if you don't know, I like for my brows with makeup on to look different than my brows without makeup which are my microbladed brows. In fact, that microblading video is doing so well and I'm like, what? <laughs> that is not a video that I was expecting to do well. But I did do a video on my microblading experience and what I wish I knew. Make sure you watch that in case you are planning to get brow shading, microblading, what have you, because I talk all about it. And like I said, I'm just so shocked that that video is doing well. Like what is going on right now? But yeah, I got my microblading done two years ago and then last December I got it touched up again. No, was it two years ago? Cause I, I was late getting my touch up. Something like that and I love it. I mean, this time it is really staying, but also too, I'm managing it better. I'm taking care of it a lot better. Like I did not realize that I shouldn't be putting my skincare products over the brows. When you're putting on your vitamin C, your retinol, what have you, the products that are going to exfoliate the skin and lighten up the skin, brighten up the skin, man, that should not be going on over your brows. And I just failed to realize that when I first had my microblading brows done, honey. So that I know contributed to the brows fading so early and 
and then I was supposed to get them touched up within what, like I think three months, something, I don't remember. And I never went. So a year later I went and did it and they've been looking great ever since. So yeah, I love my experience. So as you can see, if you were paying attention and I was just listening to me, then you see that I draw the upward strokes in the front and then I'm making the underline and then now I'm going toward the top. I do my best to make it look like there are hair strokes, but hello, it's makeup. So obviously you know that I've drawn my brows on and I don't care, I'm fine with that. I do cut off the edge of my brows because I do this, because I need to be able to reshape them. I can't have my hair down here if I'm gonna come in and do this higher arch. And yes, it is a dramatic brow shape. I love it, I love it a lot. This is what I like to do. This is the Lola's concealer that I have always loved. Long wearing, skin nourishing, conceal the deal, full coverage concealer. This is the shade Clove Law. You know, these SEO titles of these products be killing me and I get it because when you make videos, we be thinking about SEO too. So <laughs> you better go ahead and SEO your products. Hello? So I put some on the back of my hand. I don't have a thin brush like this from LYS. This is the Sephora 45 brush. Gonna take some of this product, okay? Starting right here, just to basically get the majority of it off before I go in and underline. Now this is really looking soft. The shade is looking really soft on top of this foundation shade. If I were to use a lighter foundation, if my skin were lighter, if it were winter time, because you do know, if you don't, well, I'll tell you now <laughs> that as we enter into the winter time and I'll do a video on it as we get you know closer, your skin, if you're dark like me, is going to lighten up because we're not in the bright sun anymore. If you live in a weather cycle like I do, right? Then let me talk about me. My skin is going to lighten up, okay? So I have my winter foundation shades and I've got my summer foundation shades, okay? So this shade, Clove, on this product right here or this shade of foundation, which, or the B cream, which is the Deep 3N, looks really, really natural. If I were to use on a lighter foundation, this would look different. It would just look different. It would look a lot lighter. And this is so interesting because normally under my brow is lighter than this. I actually do need to set this. So we are gonna go with this banana, but I'm not trying to make it perfect. You feel me? Like we're gonna just put it on as opposed to attempting to redefine the brow bone highlight and you're just placing it. And just be careful. The shape of this is really good. And you know what? Since we're here, let's just go over the whole eyelid. I ain't got time. Let's just de-oil. <laughs> let's mattify this whole entire eyelid, okay? And this is soft enough. It's translucent enough that it's not gonna make my eyelid yellow, as you can see, right? Like it's not making my eyelid look like banana. <laughs> I'm gonna try something new today. This is the Give Beauty Paint Up Longwear Mousse Eyeshadow. And the shade is pogo, like a pogo stick. And I have some on the back of my hand. And we're gonna just place this on the eyelid. Oh my, my, my. This is looking pretty. I never do this. <laughs> what? Just to put it on like this? Like how? You know? Ooh, but when you turn, I like the reflection that it's giving. We are going to do do our crease color in a sec. I just did not know what this was gonna look like. It looks almost like it doesn't even exist, but it does. Ooh, and it's drying down in a lovely way. Do you like this? I gotta get some now on this finger and then on back of the hand to diffuse it a little bit. It does feel like a mousse. I get that, yes. And it looks so subtle. Wow, remember the days of halo eyes? This would look so pretty in the middle of a halo. If you are afraid of eyeshadow, don't want it to be too loud, want a muted look for work or church or just every day, and you have a skin tone like mine, I think this will look so gorgeous because it's almost not there, but it's there. I don't know. If I want to make it lighter or what? I think it looks great. It's just that my cheeks are popping so much. You know what? Let me do my crease colors. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not seeing the crease pop like it needs to, so it just looks dull and dead. Let's get some crease action going on with this Huda Beauty Chocolate Brown Obsessions palette, okay? Now we going to go into these two shades in the crease. First up, this reddish brown right up in here. Now we're getting some cohesion with the crease in my cheek color. Do you see that? I haven't even finished this, but you can see the cohesion from here to here. I just need that in a makeup look because this by itself, way too neutral looking, dull, dead, not gonna work. When you warm up the crease with a color like this, it just overtakes the whole thing in the best way. And then a smaller, more tapered brush. This is the, oh, Avita Joseph from Ghana. I've had this for a long time. Taking that dark brown color and let's just go right up in here to deepen this out. I do have a video where I used an Amazon makeup brush set to do a whole eye look. And that brush set was $40. It's an older brush set. You can look at the video on my channel if you want 
want to look at it. I am going to do a different video with an updated look because I found another brush set. Because, you know, sometimes stuff be all uh, sold out or unavailable and all that nonsense. So I'm going to do another one coming up soon. So if you want to get a brush set, take a look at that one or wait for my newest video when I get around to doing that one. But here we are in the crease color right here in the outer V and then going right up here. I feel like it's very important to connect your crease color with the front of the eyebrow. So, so Key. And we're basically melting this darker eyeshadow into that reddish brown. And it may have disappeared a little bit. We're gonna put it back. I'm just gonna deepen this up some more because we got a ponytail on for God's sake. Let's give a good bold eye today, you know? And then that other fluffy brush with that reddish brown to give us that sunset blend that I live for. And now that that part is done, I feel like I need to define out the lid a little bit more. So I'm gonna take a little bit on both pink Pinkies. Just a little bit on both pinkies. And let's just get this to look more rounded. I got some product on both. You know what, listen, I don't wanna make mess this up. Let's tap off the extra on the hands. I just want this to look more rounded to open up the eyelid some more. This does dry very nicely. Taking a clean finger to pat it in, like to just put it in place without adding any more products. And then I'm looking and turning because I need to make sure that there's no harsh lines, okay? Now with that smaller brush that had the brown, Let's go and make sure that there are no harsh lines. I mean, it's not as defined because I used my fingers, but I still think that this looks beautiful. I'm gonna bring the same colors underneath the eye using the Sephora 14 brush. Here's that reddish brown color. Whipping it back and forth, going into the outer V to connect it because that just looks so sexy. It's giving daytime smoky shimmer eye for real. And then we're gonna take that darker brown color and do the same thing real close to the eye line. Now the shade of the inner eye highlight needs to pop from this bronze. So I'm gonna use the Milk Color Trope, which I love. And this is the shade Hopscotch. It's a champagne, almost like a silver, and it's gonna be a lot different from this bronze in a way that I, I need. Yeah, it's giving more silver, but in a great way. Do you see that? Uh, love, hello. If I had done gold, it would match the lid color way too much, and that's not what I want. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible 36 Hour. I never was 36 Hour. Gel Mechanical liner, okay? Let's isolate out the waterline with this tweezer. I don't wanna mess up my eye makeup. Oh, you may be thinking, uh, isn't that gonna do the same thing? Well, I'd rather this than a fingerprint because it didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, love good black eyeliner in a waterline. It just looks so good. Yeah, remember the days when we used to do white? Oh, Lord. I mean, I may do cream every now and again, 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 but I just love how the black looks. I did a video where I taught you some ways on how I like to use eyeliner. I did just the waterline, just now, but as you can see, now I'm doing the smudge. And to apply it without holding my eye and just keeping it open is pretty savage. I do recognize that, <laughs> okay? I do recognize that. And then the top line, I'm gonna just do the same thing. It's, I'm not trying to make this perfect. I just need this to be on, you dig? Now, I don't just leave the top looking like that. We do need to smudge it, cause like leaving it like that is wild, okay? More so on the outer part, not the front so much, okay? And then, do we have a new this is new from, well, new to me from Lancome. This is the Hypno, Hypno Ace, Hypno, I don't understand. It's the Hypnos Drama Mascara from Lancome. Let's see what she's talking about on the top eye. Mm, wow, this smells like a perfume. I had to, I don't ever sniff mascaras. This is giving perfume. Wow, Lancome. If you don't like fragrance on your mascara, you're not gonna like this, but I enjoy a good fragrance now. Wow, I've never, Smelled a mascara that smelled like this in my life. What? Not my eyes smelling good. Hello? Wow. This is okay. I mean, you can't see it as well. I know I have eyeliner on, but even though when I use a mascara that is stupendous, you can notice it even with this thick eyeliner on top. This is okay. I'm, I have it at my eye and I can smell it. My God. It smells floral. It smells fresh. It smells good. This is strange. <laughs> Let's do lashes. You know, I love a good lash. <laughs> D22 from AliExpress. You already know, I always link it for you. Buy it in bulk. You feel me? I've never been scammed. I know I'll be so concerned about that kind of stuff, which I understand. I'm not saying that your concerns are not valid. They are. I've never had an issue. I've been buying these for maybe four or five years now. It's been a long time, okay? Love using this Kiss Super Hold glue. This thing is janky looking. I mean, it is used. I enjoy this glue so much. Yeah, friend is saying cry. Can you imagine I used to use bonding glue. Isn't that wild? Some people still use uh, milk and magnesium, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. All 
I absolutely love this Fenty Beauty Mascara. It is bananas. It makes my lashes look chunky, chubby, lengthened, all the things that I love. I don't like for my lashes to look individual and skinny. Mm -mm. I like for them to look full and long and this stuff is good. For Lippy, we have the Devoted Lip Liner from LYS. Ooh, this is a, okay, it's a sharpened liner. I won't lie, I can't stand sharpened liners because first of all, they're not as soft. Well, okay, some of them are, I guess. I don't, I haven't used them in a long time. They're not as soft, although, okay, now that I've worked this one in, it does feel soft and creamy, but I just like a twist up because having to sharpen a pencil is irritating, okay? I mean, we all know that, but. This is looking very nice. This shade is beautiful. Brown girl friendly. Ooh, this is a great chocolate. Girl, this is looking nude. I love this color. Devoted, hi. Speak love, smooth, glide lip pencil. Yeah, once you like get that first sharpness off, it is pretty smooth. Lovely, okay. And I have the, where's the name? Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> These are uh, grown woman eyes, okay? Wow, LYS, why you do this to me? Good Lord. The packaging of this is so pretty, but dang, like we couldn't get the name on it, like other than at the bottom. Who's supposed to read that? Jesus, Lim. Wow, that, I feel like my mom right now, you gotta go like this to see Jesus. Cause when you go too close, my head hurts. Hey! Okay, this is called Joyful. Ah! Joyful, joyful, Lord. Wait, no, wrong key. And again, joyful, joyful, God of glory, love, love. I'm trying to show you this, this lipstick. Hearts of all life lies before thee, healthy as the sun above, yeah. I was so focused on singing the song that I didn't even ever show you the lipstick. Let's stop the games. This is joyful. Oh, a beautiful pink. <laughs> like a pinky brown. Good God, good God, good God, good God. Okay, this is sincere. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. This is sincere. Oh, sincere is long, long. I'm gonna do joyful and sincere. You know, I'm gonna do sincere on top. I love a good ombre. I really, really do. And I love a good pink. I could have stuck with something orange today because of my cheeks. <laughs> Should I? I don't know. Okay, let's go with. God, what did I say this was? Okay, let's do Joyful. Oh, Joyful has a little bit of orange in it. Hmm, it's giving more, okay, I might just leave this. Oh, on my lips, it's giving more pink, yes, but peach. Pink and, pink and orange is peach. It's giving peach. I enjoy this. Hmm, what a beautiful combo. Wait, it took away my, what do you call that? The lighter, the highlighter that was right there, it took it away. Hold on, let's get her back. That makes a subtle difference on the lip. You feel me? Yes. Look at that. <laughs> it's makeup, baby. Mm -hmm. It's makeup, baby. I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave it. Agaraya, Agaraya. Ah! <laughs> if you know that song, come in and let me know. I like this. Wow, I feel so, the Vim is here. Suahun is here. A Vim is, is, has arrived. Suahun. I love it. I'm gonna leave it here. Links are all below in the description box. Let me know if you love the look. What do you like about the look? Do you plan on getting any of the products? Do you have any of them? Comment and let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.